Yeah, here we go guys. Welcome to the freaking video. So, what I'm gonna do today, premise of this video, I have to do a couple things. I want to do a couple things. I probably should and need to do with these couple things. First off, I'm gonna jack the car up in the front. Actually, no. First off, I'm gonna put my new clamp on that so I can put power steering fluid in without leaking all of it out. Because that's annoying. And, uh, yeah, not, not tight because, uh, you know, loud power steering pumps are not dope. And I like having power steering. So I'm gonna put my new clamp on that T-fitting down there, that little gold piece you see. Um, after that, I'm gonna jack the car up. And I looked up how to test the um, oil pressure. And I looked up how to test the oil pressure uh, sensor. So, um, yeah. Basically, if I ground it out, I should get a whatever, I should get like a max oil reading on my gauge. If I don't, and I can use my test light, or I can use my power probe for that. If I don't, then the sensor is in fact bad. And I'm also going to do the exact same thing with my oil pressure light. Yeah, I, I just know I need to check that stuff because if it even has like low oil pressure, I need to figure out why it has low oil pressure because both orifices are sealed. It's a brand new oil pump. Oil pickup tube is clean. Everything should be, you know, fine and ready to go. And... Another reason that I think it's a sensor is because it's super cheap. It was like a dragon gauge. It was like 20 bucks for the gauge and sensor. And aside from the head, that's the only other thing that carried onto this build. So nothing in the block, I think, is going to be giving it low oil pressure. Especially because it has a new oil pump. And uh, that's pretty much what I want to do today. So uh, yeah, let's get started with that. Right, so the new clamp's on there now. Okay, so the oil light's on. That's it right there. Does it shut off or does it stay on until... It probably is going to stay on. So the oil light there is going to stay on, but I can at least test this. But I, I know that that oil light works because it turns on when I do that. It's not like it has a bad bulb. But this one always reads zero, so I'm going to ground that sensor out and uh, see, we, see what readings we get. I'm going to position my phone somewhere in here. Okay, so as you can see, grounding the sensor out did absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, so I guess the sensor's bad, but I know my stock oil light works, and if that so so much as flashes, flickers, anything, this shit's shutting off and getting left wherever the hell it is. Um, yeah, so we we'll go ahead and put the power steering fluid in. Go to AutoZone Universal. We in fact have some coolant leaking from somewhere. Where? I don't know. Can't take the camera that far, but I will report back in a second. Like, there's still... I don't know if you guys can see, like... Yeah, there you go. There's there's coolant in it. It's not... Well, obviously, because it's leaking out, but... I'm saying it's not losing... It's not losing pressure fast or anything. Yeah, that... That clamp is tight. Yeah, that's not moving. Yeah, it's not moving, so... Hmm. My hand is wet. Let me recheck that. Never mind. I found it. It's leaking from some. Maybe I didn't tighten it enough. I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that clamp and make sure it's not doing this because coolant loss. No bueno. Can you see it? Oh yeah, you can see it. Come on. Yeah, there we go. All right. So that's where I'm leaking from. Dope. Fixed it. I guess just from tightening this thing, uh, it you know, ruptured a little hole in it, but thankfully it was kind of far that way. I could have taken it off, cut that part off, and slid it on more, but uh, there's coolant in it, so I just kind of moved it towards the end of the actual, like, neck. It's like right at the, right before the edge of the neck, before it was kind of like more towards the, uh, towards the thermostat. So, yeah, as you can see, rub my hand on the, the cut. We're good. I mean, there's a little residual stuff, but we're good. It's not friggin' dripping. I could literally feel the drips before. Whoops. Okay, start this thing up, move it back.
definitely got to work on that uh, that cold start too. So yeah, you can see this was all the coolant that was leaking out and this is all the power steering fluid, both of which are now fixed. All right, well, I re-uploaded uh, Ronnie's old map to the thing and I just added a little bit more fuel just across the boost range just to be a little safe because the low end should not matter at all. It's basically the same engine, same compression, a little bit more volume. With that tune, the AFR seemed to be doing damn good. Like, pretty fucking good. I don't know how much I... I can't film this, but just, just listen. I love the sound! <laughs> my, uh... My test drive went a little farther than, uh... Maybe it should have, but at the same time, like, it's running really, really good. Like, obviously, I'm going to have Ronnie, like, fine-tune it or whatever, but this map, plus, like, the little bit of fuel I added under load, dude, it's, like, 13, 14, idles at, like, 13, 14, everything is, like, real smooth, and I haven't, I haven't, again, I think the highest I got it up to was, like, 35 or... 3500 something like that i'm not I'm, I'm literally not trying to beat on it i literally just want to drive it and i will beat on it when the time comes don't you guys worry but i need to wash this thing because it is disgusting Once did that oil light come on and just so you know it works watch that middle light right there oil light right there see that but it doesn't come on when I like three when I'm like half throttle so that's good is it good now I think so I mean the AFR seem mint if you if you can can you film like the like can you get the AFRs and the dash in there because this is like for my uh this is for my record all right I'm gonna just turn around in the street over there and go up the side street over there because this shit no fucking bueno. The neighbors are snitches, I hear. I'm not even paying attention for my own safety, dude. I'm just like looking at the camera. <laughs> I mean, it seems like it goes pretty fucking good now. Yeah, it's pretty quick. And the AFRs are good. My wastegate shoots flames. Creep on it in third. It's like half throttle. Oh, good. But you know, for for what it is, 
because, I mean, the tune seems fucking pretty good. No timing in it at all. My AFRs are safe all the way around. All loads are, are friggin' AFRs are meant, so I guess just send it, don't beat on it, and uh, I, j I literally only did that little poll for you guys. I'm not doing that shit for myself. Obviously it's fun, but you know, I wanted to show you guys that my AFRs are mint, and that the car runs mint, pulls mint. Feels pretty good. My ass dyno says probably like 300 right now. Um, that would make sense with 11 to 1 and about 8, 7 to 8 peak PSI. I guess that's it for this video. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Drop a fat like on the video because your boy gets to drive his car this weekend. And uh, definitely not beat on it.